Okay, I want to ask my auntie, how long it been since the Lord filled you with the Holy Ghost, since you been saved? Woo! I got saved when Charlotte was my baby. She was born in 75, 70, I got saved in 76. And some months after that, God filled me with the Holy Ghost. Okay, and so what advice do you want to give people that's married and like one may be saved, one may not be saved? Like what advice you want to give them? Uh, most time I would tell people, you got to unsaved husband, Hold on, I'm coming out. Just a minute. Don't nobody leave. Oh, me? Yes, me. What's up? Is it on you? Happy birthday. Thank you. Okay, maybe 70. That's your seat. Okay, thank you. Okay, maybe 70. That was crazy. I know it's a question. Now, my husband was not saved when I got saved. I waited 20 some years. Before my husband got saved and come to the Lord, I stayed saved. Went through a lot of things, uh, and we didn't agree on a whole lot of things. He said that one way he was saying, "You doing some crazy stuff by me going to church, by me living for God." But I, I kept on going. I wouldn't let him deter me, stop me from going to church. I knew that's where my life was, and my strength was going being among the saints. Mm -hmm. And so. I went to church, and he sometimes he said you you don't need to go, and sometimes I wouldn't go because he said don't go. But sometimes he still said this coordinate don't have me standing at home, and then you going somewhere else. Mm -hmm. And so I was just going to church. But if you if you live and say and talking to God, tell God if you want your husband say tell God he was saved. I waited twenty some years for my husband came into the Lord, and once he came, oh everything I had to talk to God about one of them. I wanted my husband, we pray together. I wanted to read the scripture together. I wanted to discuss the scripture together. I all that, I me, mean, I got all of that because I waited on the Lord. But what can you tell the other wives that about forgiving? Like forgiving no matter what, forgiving your husband. You got to pray and ask God to help you. Because some things some, to me is due to you, hurt you to your heart. And it take, it's going to take God to help you to get over that. It's going to mm -hmm. take God to help you to forgive. And one thing I, old church, I came out of, they taught us, be sweet to him. Okay. Be sweet no matter what he do, no matter how much you can. I used to iron my husband clothes up and I knew he was going out to the cafe. Mm -hmm. I used to iron his clothes. And then for, on Sunday morning, he in the bed when I'm trying to get ready to go to church, I served him in bed for years. For years. I served him breakfast. Every Sunday morning, I'll be going to church, he'd, he'd stay in here and I serve him breakfast in the bed. Mm -hmm. And so, if you got unsaved him, you got to be sweet to him. And it, 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 it's not always easy, but you got to ask God to help you, to be sweet to him. Mm -hmm. Do kind things for him. Like I said, I would iron his clothes so I didn't know he going out. Thank but you me. can't give up. Don't give up. Hold on and, and tell God. And you keep asking God to save me. Tell everybody you know, pray for my husband. Pray that God will save my husband. Every time I would testify, most of the time I said, pray for my husband, that God would save my husband. And God gave me my heart desire. That was a hard desire for me. Mm. I desired it in my heart. So now he's a deacon, right? He's a deacon in the church. Woo! Thank the Lord. Mm -hmm. And most of all your children is saved now. Mm -hmm. I have five children, all four of my soul saved. I have one that's an elder in the church. I have two missionaries. Mm -hmm. And then I have one that all of them sing. But... My oldest daughter got a beautiful singing voice. She sang to the glory and honor of God. Yeah. But you got to hold on. I prayed with them when they didn't want to pray. I said, come on, we're going to pray. And I would pray so long, they go to sleep. And sometimes they wake up, I'm still praying. But mm -hmm. you, got to, you, just got, you got to be faithful to God, no matter what. Thank you. No, thank you. 